You might actually get him on the frog there. Oh, I got him. He's biting it again. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's him. On the chatterbait. What is going on, folks? Welcome to the Fishing Norm YouTube channel. Comment of the day is popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day. Today, we are here with Lojo Fishing, your favorite. Guys, yeah! if you want to go fishing with me and Lojo, if you are in the South Georgia, North Florida, South, South Ala Alabama, Southeast Alabama area, we're looking for new spots because we have had a really tough time with a lot of our spots recently being overfished. We're just not catching stuff out of them anymore and we're trying to give them a break. So if any of you guys have some fire spots and want to go fishing with us, let us know down below in the comments section. That actually kind of leads into today's subject of the video. Today, Lojo and I are actually going and fishing a new spot. I just recently got permission to fish here in North Florida. Never fished it before. We're hoping we can find some bass, hopefully a lot of bass, hopefully some big bass. We're just going to try to figure out the spot, fish a few different lures, try to catch as many fish as we can, as many big fish as we can. <laughs> as this truck goes by. Today is going to be an absolute grind. I'm super excited to get out there, try catching as many fish as we can. You ready, Lojo? I'm ready. All right, man. Donk fest. Donk fest. All right, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> well, we'll see you guys at the pond. Oh my, guys. All right, folks, Lojo and I are here at the pond. He's already started fishing. We have a Guggenbait Slim Shake worm tied on, and we also have a Ketchco lipless crankbait here. So this pond's looking super juicy. Neither of us have fished this pond before. And our goal today is just to see if there is any fish in here, and if there is, if we can catch them. So I'm gonna start out here with a Guggenbait Slim Shake worm, see if I can't make anything happen, and we'll go from there. We also have a dog who's kind of following us around today. He's all the way over there right now, but he may make an appearance at some point in this video. If we hook into something, he might run over and say, hey, we'll see. Guys, my camera was off, but I have this one, and the dog is swimming in the water. There we go, okay. Fish number one, we know there's bass in here now. Dude, Look at that, nice dude. That's a little fish, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> hey, pupper. Oh man, I just got. Did oh, you see that? Oh my god. Dude, I just got freaking slammed out there, bro. All right, guys, there he is. Fish number one, a pretty good solid one right there. Kind of close to two pounds, I'd say. Oh, I mean, that's boy. a really good solid fish. Let's just know that there's fish actually out here at this pond. Dude, spooking every fish within a 14 mile radius. Oh, I just got hit. I just got hit. Got him. Got him. There we go. Okay. <laughs> There we go, guys. Fish number two on the worm. This place is looking super good. I mean, we've oh. barely even walked, and that's our second fish right there. Beautiful colors on this one. Just dragging this Guggenbait Slim Shake, and I mean, it is absolutely killing it. Super healthy fish out here. See you, buddy. All right, we're gonna throw this lipless crankbait here. This thing should hopefully do really well out here. I mean, we've got two bites on the worm so far, and we've literally only moved five feet. I kind of want to see what type of stuff we got out here in the middle. Both of my bites were kind of near the bank. I wonder if they're out here kind of swimming around with their structure out here. I do not know. People are throwing this worm around. Apparently they want the worm. The worm squirm. The wormy squirmy. Yep. Read my mind. Come on, fishy fishy. Oh, right when you said it, dude. Got one. He snapped me off. Mm. Guys, I just got freaking hammered. Hey, Lojo, can I borrow your... <laughs> Lojo, can I have some lures? Yeah. Oh, my God. Did you just get nailed on the yes. frog? Dude, what the heck? Kitchen. Guys, with your silly <laughs> my line was frayed from this past couple fish, and I snapped off, and I asked Lojo <laughs> if I could steal his tackle, and he puts his backpack down and gets blown up I'll on the frog. Dude, that's that. crazy. Yeah, was... Guys, look at Lojo's tackle box. Look at all the Guggen baits in here. What would you guys throw at a new pond that you've never fished before? Like, what would be your go-to bait? Because that's a cool question. I think you guys could help me out on that. I really like throwing, like, speed worms or, like, finesse worms and having, like, a moving bait. Oh, you just got nailed the frog again. Lojo, oh, what's going on? My. They're not getting it. That's twice, but neither one of them had it. I think you're just bad at fishing. Well, I'm that's, that's, that's the obvious thing. I'm kidding, guy. All right, let's see what Lojo's got in here. Where's your terminal tackle, guy? Should we use Lojo's lead weights or his tungsten weights? Tungsten is the correct answer. <laughs> All right, folks, we got the new rig on here. Thanks to Lojo Fishing. And we're gonna go ahead and cast right back in here where I snapped off on that other one. I think I probably should have retied because I've caught a lot of fish 
and I didn't really check my line. I'm pretty sure that was my problem there. I'm fishing with 14 pound fluorocarbon and the pupper's back. Hey puppy. All right, folks, we are going to borrow Lojo's setup here because he has a chatterbait tied on and I want to give the chatterbait a try. We've had a few bites on the worm, snapped one off, caught a couple, and I think it's time that we try something else. So we're gonna go ahead, toss this chatterbait around, see if we can't get ourselves muncheroonied on it. I mean, it looks good. It looks like a place where a chatterbait would work. Oh, oh, I just got slammed on the chatterbait, dude. The wake on that was insane. Guys, we are throwing around this massive topwater frog now. Lojo had a few blow-ups on this earlier, didn't really hook into any of them, but we're gonna see if we can't show Lojo up on his own rod and reel combo. That'd be pretty funny. That chatterbait, we had a couple bites on it, and we're trying to only stand in like this one area before we kind of move on. So I'm gonna try to throw all the baits that we can. Lojo's getting bit up by ants over there. He's a not happy boy. Dude, a big fish just nailed right here and <laughs> talks right here. Get out of here, pupper. What are you doing, buddy? I am on a frog mission right now, folks. Frog mission. Oh! Oh, he missed it. He missed it, guys. I had a blow up, though. Dude, I had a blow up on the frog. Let's go. <laughs> this is my first frog blow up of the year, guys. Right there on that piece of structure. No, puppy. No, don't. <laughs> don't jump in the water. <laughs> I finally got a good little area over here. You got a topwater blow up and the puffer's running over here trying to jump in the water. I know you want to go swimming. So Lojo, what have you been catching your fish on? You caught them on the Slim Shake and the Bandito Bug or oh, the Mondo, Mondo Worm? worm. Ooh, okay. So the worm has been the pattern today so far, folks, but we've got a ton of bites on the chowder baits and I think three bites on the frog in total. So I think they're willing to hit anything out here. We just got to get our hookup ratio a little bit better. This next spot will hopefully be juicy. Oh, snap. That could have been fun. I guess. Oh, no, it's not. I just, I had him, I swear. He was yanking it. Oh no, Lojo, don't you do it. I'm gonna get him on the worm. You might actually get him on the frog there. Oh, I got him, he's biting it again. Got him, got oh, him. Right here, dude. Right dude, we- We're over here talking about the <laughs> boat. And Norm's over here freaking crab. Guys, this boat is good luck. We literally just caught this fish. Right, we heard it blow up and second cast in there, we ended up Yanking him on out. All right, we're gonna go ahead let this guy go back right where he was. See you, buddy. Let's take a closer look at this boat. I mean, look at that. It's like a little area back here. But would you guys fish out of that? Let me know. That could be like the new Norm fishing rig. I'll have to ask him if I can fish out of this thing. Could you imagine us fishing out of like a little sail yeah. ship? We're gonna toss around this chatterbait now, folks. We've caught enough on the worm. I wanna try to catch something on something else besides the worm because that can get kind of boring. I mean, it's always fun, but I like to challenge myself and throw something different. Hey, man. Have a good enough day oh, that's him on the chatterbait. Right back when we started, too. Yeah, there we go, guys. Caught him on the moving bait. I was hoping like upgrading the size of my bait would upgrade the size of the fish, but that is not the case. But still, super fun to reel in, super fun to fight. This spot's looking a little juicy. We got our own little homemade dock here to cast off of. That's nice. Let's see if they want anything to do with the chatterbait over here. That's a fish. Got him. On the chatterbait, guys. Another one. There we go. Ah, casted right out in the middle. Are you kidding me? Look at that, guys. I think this fish has been caught before. Look at that, he has a hole in his mouth. Not where my bait was. My bait was right here. Hmm. Very interesting. There we go. The moving bite is on, which is weird because it's super sunny out here today. Like super hot summer day. Bluebird skies. Oh my gosh, Lojo's got one. Let's go over there. Did you let him go? What? I ran over here. What'd you catch him on? Wormy squirmy? Can I throw your frog? Thank you. <laughs> all right, we picked the frog back up, guys. We've caught him on the worm. We've caught him on the moving bait. Now all we need is a topwater bite in the middle of the day. <laughs> That too much to ask for come on oh he missed it he missed it lojo i got slammed first cast on the frog oh he hit it again it's a little one it's like a little like one pounder dude i'm dialed in for the dinks i want to catch a freaking squeaker guys i know how bad that sounds i just want to catch something on top of it. i don't care if it's 10 pounds one pound obviously i'd prefer the 10 pounder but watch he's gonna hit it again i guarantee it and Lojo's line is right over mine, you goob. 
I knew there's gonna be something back there. You just look at that and you're like, something's gotta be back there. Guys, this new pond is proving to be super cool. Lojo and I have each caught our fair share of fish. We just haven't found a big one yet. Guys, Lojo followed up the uh, the frogfish that I had. <laughs> He's got them. That's the one that blew up on it, dude. I mean, it's not tiny, I mean, not terrible. What was he thinking? You know what I've noticed is when I pick up your gear, I don't seem to catch anything. I think you got the bad voodoo. Do you like cast a spell on your rod and reel for when I pick it up? This is right where that fish blew up, dude. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. He missed it. Dude, that's the third fish that has missed the frog today. Are you kidding me? All right, guys, that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Loji and I had an absolutely amazing time targeting those bass, amazing time. catching those bass. It's always so much fun catching bass out of a pond you've never caught bass out of before. It's true. Never knowing the challenge of fishing and learning new spots is so much fun to me. So I'm super glad Lojo and I got to try that out today and we'll have to go there again, do some, like some frog For fishing, sure. kayaks redemption, kayaks. kayaks yes, yeah. that would be absolutely great. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to Lojo. Go check out his video from today's point of view. It'll be linked down below at the top of the description. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you made it this far, obviously you enjoyed the video. So make sure you guys hit it with the like button, leave some comments down below, subscribe and hit the bell to join the Narmi. But anyways, guys, I will see you in the next fishing video. Fish bump, I'm out of here.